Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is Ataku Showboat. Today is a brand new day. It is, for me, the 6th of December. So we need to pick up the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, and the six, and we will attempt to do this in order, if I can remember where these all are. I see the three, I see the six, but where's the two? Where is the two? I'm sure some of you already know, there's my birthday. There's the two. We get 25 coupons. Okay, that's nice. The three. The three gives us a red Fixmas ornament. This is very important. Where, oh where, is the four? Oh boy, where oh where does the four live? There's the six. There's a 16, a 21, a 24, a 19. There's the four, right next to the two. Ah, we get the ornament bundle. Another important thing. Where is the five? There's the 15. Where, oh, where is the five? There's the 10. There's seven. 18, 12, 16, 25, 14, 8, 20. My goodness, where? Oh, where is the 5? There's the 5. It's right there. What do we get here? Basic Fixmas Skin Customizer. Well, that's new. That is legitimately new. And the six. What is our six for the day? We get color cartridges today, which actually have a use. I thought that they didn't have a use because I thought that they were exclusively the ammo to the color gun, which no longer exists in the game. That is not actually true. It is used to apply. If I have a uh, MAM shop, uh, around. Oh, ha. It costs you presents. It, it costs you. It costs you presents to uh, customize stuff. Well, what can you customize? Huh? What, is, what does this customize? Belts and pipelines. Okay, that's interesting. Well, what does it make a belt look like? Um, I don't think I like it. I, uh, I think I much prefer my colors to that. Yeah, I think, I think I much prefer my colors than an orange, blue, and white. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem great. How is that supposed to be a Fixmas skin? I I don't understand. That that seems lackluster to me. I don't I don't like it. I like I like mine better. My my green and red. That that screams screams the holiday season a lot better. Uh, I think personally. Uh, let's see. Is there a pipeline uh, somewhere? Probably not. Not around here. I know where there's a pipeline, but it requires me to go back down. It won't, like, it's faster to just finish this route. Yeah, and then go back. But we're here, so we may as well do stuff while we're up here. Okay. What do we got for Fixmas? Well, as long as we have 
our red ornament as well as 30 of the bows and 20 of the candy canes, which we should have at this point. We've got a few bows. We've got a few candy canes. Uh, we can now move on in the holiday event to the next step. Which lets us automate the red and the blue doohickeys. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Fixmas is coming to town. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, unfortunately, it's still not fully automatable quite yet. Which is a... Which is a little bit of a shame. Just a... Just a bit of a shame. Really. Uh, now... Is it the assembler... Or is it still the constructor? It is still the constructor, which is great. Because that's just a one-in, one-out scenario. Alright. Huh? Did I just, like, miff? Did I just... Was I blind? Smelter. Uh, it's in the... It's in the smelter. Yep. Yeah, that's what it is. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So these are, in fact, just gifts. Or just, just, just the gifts to make the red and the blue ornaments. So, we shall plonk down three smelters. Uh, we're going to have two of these doing reds because the reds go at uh, half the rate. You get one every 12 seconds versus two every 12 seconds on the blues. So we're going to need twice as many reds as blues. At least that's what makes sense to me. Uh, we're going to put down a splitter. Split a split. And uh, that will not quite be that. We're going to need to merge. Uh, right there. Um, yeah, this will be okay. Go in there. Go in there. Build a couple of storage containers. And give things some power. Power is always good. There we go. Now, I need to give gifts. So, the problem is that I only have 49 on me of the gifts. I'll need to, uh... I'll need to hunt more gifts, and the way that I've designed this is, uh, yeah, gonna mean that all of the other stuff is gonna happen before what I just put down, so I would continue getting trees, tree branches, for example. Uh, I'm gonna be okay with that. I, I, I am okay with that, uh, being a thing. Well, we're good with that. Uh, so, I haven't talked about what I've done between episodes and what we did last time so it'd be it would be good to uh talk a little bit about that when we last met i did a little bit of quartz shenaniganry shenaniganry uh, basic processing into crushed quartz uh, we unlocked the ability to do like the oscillators so we have that on the agenda we'll we'll, we'll get to this uh, and then I said, well, wouldn't it be great to have a dedicated build for the uh, for the heavy uh, modular frames? Because we set up heavy modular frames last time. Uh, 
Oh, good. I I got something. I got something in Prosperous Universe. I, someone someone sold stuff to me. Met my buy order. Partially. Anyway. Yeah, I need I need nitrogen and guess what? There's a resource in Satisfactory for, for nitrogen and it's uh over there somewhere. The the closest supply is over there somewhere. We'll need that for later. But uh yeah, I, I thought about since we had set up a very basic temporary leeching setup on the heavy modular frames a couple levels down, I said that off screen I would actually do a dedicated build for this. And uh, I've done the dedicated build for this. It's a little hard to see with all this uh, belt in the way. But uh, this this is a thing. Ow. Oh, I, I tense up every single time. Every single time I fall. Every single time. I, I really, really hate falling. I hate the sensation of falling. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. This is a build that will require a little bit of explanation. Because it's using a few alternative recipes that I didn't actually have when we ended off the previous video. Uh, I've done a bit more exploration. Uh, just just a bit more. You may notice occasionally... A... Ah, why does that hurt me even with Blade Runners? I don't... I don't get it. I should be able to fall off the top of a lookout tower and not take damage with Blade Runners. That that seems reasonable, right? Uh, so you may notice that there is a pathway leading up, uh, a ramp leading up uh, over there. Uh, that leads to essentially that, that right there, that wreckage that you can just barely see on that uh, cliff top. Now, over there, along that cliff, that height, is actually the closest source of bauxite that I have. So, you know, all that effort of bringing a bauxite belt line from way over there. Yeah, there's a pure node, like, right there on top of the flat surface. The problem is that it's guarded by, like, six plus spitters. Like, at least two alphas and several of the smaller spitters. I'm not gonna win that fight. So I'm gonna need to take a different weapon with me. I can't I can't win that with just a basher. Which the Candy Cane Basher was fixed, by the way. It actually does its thing now. It it, it works. I am I am quite happy that uh that it works. Uh, so I, long story short, I got a whole bunch of hard drives. I think I got six of them in total because I explored all the way down on the bottom as well uh, by the oil that we tapped, the wreckages that were around that oil, and a few others, I think. Uh, there's a... Yeah, you can see in the distance that ramp down leads to another one uh, all the way straight ahead on my on my cursor. That ramp down leads to one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, just, just got a bunch and got a bunch of alternative recipes, which uh, I'll bring up as I use them. Not all of them were particularly relevant, but uh, hey, we've got the ability to make concrete with water now. Uh, we got the ability to do... Uh, copper and iron with the water. So we have we have the set of basic resources now able to be done in refineries with water. Uh, it does use a lot of power. It could it could be a lot more power efficient if I had a huge array of these massive buildings underclocked considerably. That that would be much more power efficient, but of course it's not so space efficient now, is it? Uh, so I have been using this now for uh, 
for my needs for this build, and I'll be slowly but surely going back and tweaking all of my other builds that need those ingots and concrete to rely on the stuff made from the uh, refineries. But you do need water. But you do need water. So that meant building a pipeline of water and raising the water. I also needed uh, more than one belt of iron. Oops. Ow. I wanted to be down here anyway. <laughs> just, just another reminder that you do not die if you're at full health. You, you don't die. If, oh yeah, this works now. See, it, it works. The, the basher, it, it works now. Yes, you, you, you rest comfortably. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Rest comfy. Uh, all lizard doggos must die. I have, I have decided. Because, uh... As it turns out, they're capable of, uh... If you make friends with them, they're capable of giving you literal nuclear waste that can kill you. And uh, I'm not about that life. So all doggos must die. They, they must be murdered. Uh, so down here I have some water uh, being pumped uh, in a pipe that goes along this wall all the way up into a floor input up top and uh, a whole bunch of pumps along the way every quote unquote 22 meters uh, at the snapping points now before you point it out maybe someone else pointed it out the last time I've shown lifting fluid up with a whole bunch of pumps like that a, yes, these are only Mark 1 pumps. There is going to be a Mark 2 pump capable of lifting greater vertical height. I think it's like 54 meters-ish. Uh, so it would vastly reduce the amount of uh, pumps that I would need. But there's also a way to uh, set this up so that it wouldn't need any pumps at all. But that's extremely cheesy. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cheese exploit the mechanic in that way. Uh, particularly because it's a little bit annoying to do it. To execute that exploit. But you can exploit headlift. Apparently. Unless it was fixed for update 5. I've seen nothing to indicate that it has been fixed thus far. But uh, supposedly... If at the destination height, if at the destination height, there exists some sort of a buffer, some sort of a water tower, as it were, up at this height. If there were, say, a water tower at this height, and say, for example, that this tower was full of water, up here that it that it somehow became full of water if you took a pipe down to the bottom and then put in a valve one-way valve to set it to zero movement of water through that valve as in it just stops prevents the water from going here if there is water filling up the tank, or any fluid for that matter, if there's fluid in the full of the, the full tank as well as full up the entire pipe down to the source, and you have a valve leading out, not not leading towards the buffer, but away from the buffer, and have the valve set to zero fluid going through it because the valves allow you to uh, set 
the uh, flow rate used to limit flow rates. If you limit it to zero, okay, and it's part of that pipeline, well, then the head lift becomes this. The, the height of the head lift becomes this because this is part of that pipeline network. This becomes part of the pipeline network. And even though no fluid is going out of this to the like source fluid that needs to come back up, so you need a pipe going down and a pipe coming up, uh, it still counts this for the vertical height of the head lift for all the stuff that is sourced down below. So you can take, without any pumps, another pipe all the way back up. And as long as you're not going above this thing's head lift up here, which I think this thing has a head lift of at least 11, 10 or 11, I forget exactly, but uh, meters. But uh, yeah, you can you can get away with not having any pumps whatsoever in the entire system. Just just for the cost of a water tower and a bit more pipe. Now, what is the what is the point of that? Well, pumps use power, so it save it makes it so that you can lift stuff up without using any power whatsoever, uh, and that is the exploitiness of the system. That's what that was what makes it an exploit uh, that I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use my pumps. I've, I've explained how it works because I'm sure someone at some point will explain or try to explain to me that that's a thing that you can do. But uh, yeah, so I'm now making heavy modular frames in a dedicated build. A whole two per minute. This entire build only makes two per minute. So let's work backwards from from our manufacturer. OK, uh, so we have all four of the input products coming in from the side here. The first thing on the line is the modular frames. We get reinforced plates and iron rods to make these frames. Uh, we've got an array of like five of these buildings. Uh, directly behind them is the reinforced iron plates made from the iron plate and wire recipe. And we have like three of these assemblers assembling the, uh, the reinforced plates at five per minute. I need like, I need 15 or so. Directly behind, we actually go into the encased industrial beams, which needs steel pipe and concrete. So keep keeping that in mind. Steel pipe and concrete is next. Uh, the the concrete from the refinery is next. Hello, my dolly. Hello, baby girl. Yeah, she's a she's a pretty girl. So we have our refinery making enough concrete. All I need is 50 per minute, which is 62 and a half of this one refinery. That it's fantastic. Uh, next up, we have the pipe. All of the steel pipe in these wonderful constructors. Uh, and right behind the steel pipe is the foundries. So we have foundries making steel ingots to make steel pipes. Now I have some steel ingots going backwards from these foundries. And these foundries are using the iron and coal recipe uh, just because I have the ore for it here. I'm making iron rods out of steel ingots because supposedly this is the... Uh, a better recipe. Yeah, it, it's supposedly better using making iron rods out of steel. I'm not so sure about that, but uh, you know what? We're going for it on this setup here. All the way back here, we have iron plates. Now remember, iron plates are used way back here. Goodbye, Dolly. I will miss the kitty. Let me through. Let me pass. Let me pass. 
Uh, so the iron plates go in here, here, to make the reinforced plates. Yeah. It sucks that it's nighttime for this. I, w I would like it to be daytime so we could actually see what's going on a little bit more clearly. Alright, that is the plates. Let me through. And then back here, what do we have? Oh, we have wires? We have wires made out of iron. Why would I make the uh, wires out of iron rather than out of copper? As it turns out, copper is an overall rarer resource than iron is. So even if this uses a bit more iron total to make wires, and it, even if it's a little bit of a slower recipe, it is better to make the wires out of iron because iron is more abundant. But, who knows, balance-wise, whether or not uh, I will have enough iron for my other needs if I choose to make wire out of iron rather than out of copper. There might be enough copper around to warrant my wire production, as well as my uh, the other stuff that needs copper. I understand that very, very, very late game, there's going to be a massive copper sink that I'm going to need as much copper as I can get for. Uh, so think of this as preparing for that. As preparing for that. And of course I do need screws and I have the direct casting recipe for screws. So that's that's directly making the screws in one step. It saves all of the buildings uh, for making these screws. Now yeah, I get the irony that I am making the steel d rods. I'm doing the steel rods recipe, and that's actually the most efficient way of doing screws, is to do the screws the normal way out of the rods, but do the rods out of the steel recipe. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, simplicity. The The build has been complex enough, and it's taken it took a really long time to build it out. And of course, over here we have our ingots all the glorious ingots are mine they shall be mine and then out here we've got the uh couple mining drills of uh iron coming in we've got uh we've got that one there and that one there these are the final two i think of all of the six iron patches of my starting area they're they're accounted for now I have a bit of excess ore production, but uh, I don't know if I'll need it per se. Let's take that stuff back. Over there, there's another array of refineries. Uh, that is copper into copper ingots. Uh, because as it turns out, I don't think I need copper ore for anything. Uh, and I was thinking, well, if the water refining recipe is the most efficient use of ore uh, into ingots I may as well do that local even though the ore is actually the more dense resource with the with the water refining uh, it's not as easy getting the water where I need it to do the refining right if I if I wanted to send the ore out and have it available where am I making a factory? It's it's a lot easier to raise multiple belts to the height that I need it to than it is to raise pipe to the level that I need it to with with the head lift and all that. Um especially with water. Water and oil uh, in particular. Now Nitrogen is a gas, so when we start mining nitrogen, it does not have head lift. I can, I can pipe it wherever I need without any pumps whatsoever, because it is a gas. 
and it isn't restricted in that way. At least it supposedly isn't, anyway. Well, with all that said, that's what I've done off screen. It's been half an hour of recording so far. All we've really done is set up a tiny bit of production on uh, Fixmas stuff. So what do we need to do? Well, this over here is going to be dedicated smart plating. So we have this project. We also have a bit of a Katarium project to do. Uh, and we have quartz. And, of course, uh, I haven't done anything with sulfur yet at all. So I will need to find and mine sulfur at some point as well. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, so I need those oscillators, and those oscillators are made in a manufacturer. So I was thinking this might be today's project. Uh, overall. Uh, but these oscillators are going to need a few things that I don't think I want to make on this level. Oh, I need more concrete. Hey, manufacturer. Go ahead and go uh, right there for me. Thank you kindly. Oh yes, and I have I have the Katarium computer alternative recipe now. That is different, shall we say, from the computer recipe. Rather than using plastic and cable and bolts and the uh, the the chips, it uses fewer chips, quick wire, and rubber. Now, apparently this is a better recipe, so I will be using this recipe overall compared to the other computer recipe. This three input in, far better than the four input in. And it goes faster, too, every 16 seconds versus every 24. Uh, and we will need computers to make adaptive control units, so we need to keep that in mind. Uh, I already have automated wiring, although we get the speed recipe alternate. Uh, alternate. Uh, that needs high, yeah, that needs high speed connectors. Uh, I don't know about that exactly, especially when I already have the basic recipe made. Uh, there's also an alternate flexible framework recipe that I'm considering. But uh, for the moment, I need the plate, the smart plating for the modular engines, because we already have the other two things, and then I need all of that all of that i need the uh, i need the chips i need the computers really for the for the adaptive control units and then we can finish phase three <laughs> uh, but that's gonna take a while crystal oscillators let's let's have a look at these take a slight detour and have a look at these to make one per minute we need the crystal quartz we need cables and we need reinforced iron plates well i'm pretty sure that uh, I can just bring those in, and that's the that's that's the crush the crystals. Do I have the alternate recipe? I do. <laughs> hey hey, I actually have the alternate recipe for the for the quartz. How useful that is, I'm not exactly certain at this point. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. Uh, I did pick up a turbo heavy fuel the, for turbo fuel recipe. I don't really think I'm going to do turbo fuel uh, at all uh, in here, though. Um, yeah, and then there's like residual fuel and fuel and polymer resin. I want to, I want to, oh, right. That's what I, that's what I needed to do. Hey, hey, we've got, uh. We've got things, right? So, I can finish this milestone 
Yeah, I should, uh... I should finish this milestone. How do, that sounds like a great idea. I'm just gonna go over here and pick this one up. This, uh, thingy up. Then I have to go down. Not this far. Up one. I need to be on this level. Because I need a thousand of those sheets. Copper sheets. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, and then I need to go back up because I need 400 each of the plastic and rubber. One more level up. And hypertube. We're here. And I'm reminded that there is a quote unquote skin for the for the pipes. See the pipe one makes sense. Oh the pipe <laughs> The pipe skin at least makes sense. It's a giant candy cane. That that skin makes sense absolute sense. I do not know what they were smoking when they came up with the, uh... Oh! Yeah, but you see, that requires you to actually see the belt surface. Yeah, I mean, now that makes a little bit more sense as wrapping paper on these belts, but I don't like the edges. I don't like this yellow, blue, beige that they've got going on. And then the black and off black on the top. Yeah, I just, I don't like... The aspect of the belt that I will always see. And there's no point to the actual belt itself being a different color because you're you're not going to see that when your stuff is on top of it, literally on top of it. You can't see through. So yeah, that that doesn't make sense to me. The pipes make absolute sense. I love how they look. I may have to go and uh, do some decorating. Not going to do that until I can automate my production uh, of the of the stuffs. Uh, I'm going to go back uh, automate pr the production of the gifts, uh, which will happen. It it will happen. It's just going to take a little while. For it to happen. As we're going to go up here. So I can show you. Hey. There's a. Doohickey that I've. Gotten already. Uh, I put a building up here. Just so that. Fauna doesn't respawn. I put a. Powered. Building. Up here. Just so. Yeah. The, re the respawn doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a wreckage. Uh, this I don't even remember what it needed. Uh, up here, it was it was a drop pod. I had the things that I needed to open it. Uh, but over there is a bauxite node. There's two green alphas and four small splitters, and he's already shooting at me. Yeah, 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 I'm leaving. How far are you going to chase me? The heck? Did he just get stuck in the terrain? Okay. Well, that's a family of spitters over there, and I don't really want to tangle with them. 
Not with a melee weapon. So that that's why I haven't tapped that one yet. Really, really did not want to tangle with them. Oh yes, I also went to the uh, the singular impure uranium patch that exists in the entire game. On the entire map. The singular impure one. Uh, because there was a wreck below uh, on the same landmass. That spire right there, that, that cliff top, or whatever you want to call it, that plateau. Uh, all the way up top there, that's where the impure uranium is. And there's a, uh, a wreck a little bit lower. So you see I've got this uh, rampway leading all the way up uh, to the top there. So I, I have access to that. What I don't have access to at the moment is sulfur. I will be I will be needing that. I will be needing that. Uh, what else did I do off screen? I have a bit more power than I used to. I added another set of 16 coal generators. So I'm up to uh, 3,600. Uh, it's a little bit short of my total potential max, but that's fine. Let's go down to complete this milestone. Doink, 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 doink. Big red button. Milestone reached. Improved pipelines and pumps can now be constructed capable of handling increased throughput of any fluid, as well as providing increased pressure handling for better vertical transport, respectively. That is exactly what I wanted to see. It needs plastic. And of course, yeah, the valve needs rubber and all of that. Uh, plastic for the Mark II pipe. That's fine, and it needs full motors for the pump. Full motors for the Mark II pump along with plastic. Yeah, adds 50 meters. It's actually a bit more than that, but yeah. Headlift does not stack. I wish it did. I really wish that it did. Well, it's been 43 minutes, and I feel like I've done absolutely nothing besides sit here and talk about things that I've done off screen for, for the most part. I mean, we did just do a milestone. Uh, we can look at what the next milestone should be. What, what should we unlock next? Uh, we only have the gas mask available, which, frankly, that's only going to be the inventory slots, and we don't even have fabric yet. We have Mark IV conveyors. Yeah, that sounds great, uh, provided I can build computers. The jetpack will require packaged fuel. Okay. Sure thing there, buddy. And the train tech that will also need computers. So it looks like we are a little bit blocked by uh, computers at this point. Uh, not going to worry about computers right this second. Okay. So this will use these oscillators. They use cables and reinforced plates. Yes, that's what I that's what I saw that they use. Ooh, presence. Cables and reinforced plates. Yes, yes. Uh the irony being I can get both of these out of just iron. Wow, 
wire is too long. Uh, have some power so I can at least make a few by hand. Enjoy the one per minute. This cycle is two minutes long. Wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's much. That's much. So we have a few options. We can bring up both of those from down below. The problem is that that's a big distance uh, to bring those up. That, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty big distance. Wait, is that cable? Hey, that's cable. Right there. Right, I need cables. Ha. Huh. Oh boy, the irony of needing cable for cable. Uh, so I'll be leeching for the moment. Uh, clearly. Clearly I will leech. Alright, cables. Um, someone has to be backed up, right? Yes. Considerably. Oh boy, I needed to go up all, all the way up there. Yeah, I thought as much. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I didn't need uh, the other build anymore, by the way, for the heavy frames. These uh, heavy modular frames. I didn't need the build that I had done last time, so I deleted it. Also, since I'm carrying coupons with me, here, give me 70 more coupons. What can I buy with my 95 coupons? What has a use? Uh, so... These... These use... The color cartridges, apparently. The, uh, the patterns... Use color cartridges. So I guess I'll pick them up. Sure, we're up to 30. What else? What else I want? I can pick up packaged liquid fuel. Okay. Oh look, it's packaged fuel. I could get my milestone. No, we're, we're not going to abuse this. Uh, let's pick up... Oh yeah, I already got ladders. I forgot that I have ladders. Whoops. How much is that? 71. To clean out architecture. Oh, lighting. Yeah, lighting, lighting is good. We're up to 99, so I need to uh, cut back ever so slightly on something. I want my lights. 
Let's not have the structural beams, I guess. Buy all. Su success, I, I suppose. Hey, hey. We've got a lot of stuff. Oh boy. Yeah, that's uh that's a lot of stuff that I just unlocked there under architecture. I can actually make things look halfway decent. Like maybe. Maybe I can make something look halfway decent now. Uh, so where are those lights? Ah, uh, under organization. Oh joy. Oh bliss. Uh, and of course they need power. Oh, so, so nice. So nice and bright. Yes, I I need you in my life. How much power do they use? Two megawatts. Color and intensity can be modified. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's that's nice. We have we have unlocked some new toys today, apparently. We have done this thing. Mine. My gifts. I like my presents. Uh, and then, do I have reinforced plates? Oh, hey, those are those are beams. I don't think I have reinforced plates, but maybe I do. I've got rotors. Right, because this has the motors. This is the, the motor build. So even though it's sort of the stuff to make the reinforced plates, ahem, minus the, minus the plate, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a shame, because I think if I want to get the reinforced plates, I'll need to bring them in from much, much lower, because I don't think I'm doing any on this level. This level is just steel stuff. Yeah, this level is just steel stuff. And the reinforced plates are two levels lower. Yeah. Two levels lower. So let's get the cables in to the quartz. Or into those oscillators first. We need to go up another level. Come on. Come on. There you go. You did it. Congratulations, you did it. You did the thing. Yeah, I could leech a few off above. Get in there, you. 
just reinforced plates. I have four oscillators. Yay! Uh, yeah, I think I'll just have to bring it in from above. Uh, at least temporarily. So, somewhere here... is reinforced plates. Ahem. Somewhere here is reinforced plates, I think. Wait. Is it? Yeah, right here. Right here. Reinforced plates. One you know. And there's a few of them going on. Yeah, they go in to make the frames. Well, alrighty then. All we need is one of these right there. Uh, and that is connected. I will guarantee to you that that is connected. Game is actually getting better and better at being able to work with belts. It's definitely better than it was in update uh, 3, which was the real, really the last time I've played this. Lift. Come on, there you go. There they are. Hello. Hello, plates. Just a couple, but that's all I need. Yeah, and then ideally a uh, box to keep them in. Ta-da! We've made crystal oscillators today, I can say that. Hey, after after all that talk and talk and more talk, I have successfully made crystal oscillators today. Oh boy. Let's get high speed connectors next time. Or AI limiters or both. We could do both. Yeah, we can we can do these things. Um I will, I will need to unlock the high speed connectors, but yeah, I can I can make do the Katarium stuff. Yeah, I want the AI limiters for smart splitters eventually, right? Yeah, and doesn't this isn't it is it Katarium that unlocks the uh rifle or is it sulfur? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure it's sulfur, so I'll need to go down that line. I'll, I'll need to go down that line. I'll also need to get some, uh, this unlocked, the fabric. That would be ideal, actually, because uh, that actually unlocks parachutes. Those would be useful. Pa parachutes would be useful, but anyway, with that, folks, uh, we have reached the end of today's video. I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Ataku Shibut. If you have enjoyed today's video going over the dedicated build for the heavy modular frames uh, as well as building out ish the uh the oscillators oh yeah and i i do need to do that build as well um yeah, leave a, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and hit the notification bell. Consider becoming a member of the channel. 
by hitting the great big blue join button and supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash But if you are so inclined and able, I will be back when I am back. And I will see you all on the next one. Thank you.